welcome to my kitchen hi my name is Yaji and I hope you all are doing well and what I'm going to be sharing with you today has absolutely nothing to do with healthy or <laughs> anything like that okay so I have to put that disclaimer out there but one of my passions one of the things that I love to do that brings me so much joy and peace is cooking and messing around with flour this is not fat loss friendly this is not healthy but like i always say if you're going to eat junk make your own junk we're in lockdown mode hello quarantine chronicles i've gone back to some of my treasures and i'm trying out recipes and updating them to the 21st century this is the book i'm talking about auntie kate's cookery book last week i shared the plain cake recipe from auntie kate's cookery book um, updated again for the 21st century I'm adding my touch to it and somebody asked about Gary biscuits recipe I thought I should try making Gary biscuits after two tries I think I have something that I can comfortably share with you Good. Mm -hmm. made it and the kids love it keep watching to find out how to make gary biscuits just a quick reminder if you have not subscribed to this channel to go ahead and click on the subscribe button so that when i do share recipes like this one or share recipes like my celery juice because i share them all you don't miss out on anything thank you so much for the support so what you need to make the gary biscuits i have all-purpose flour two cups here is baking powder baking powder I already measured it out this is half a teaspoon and a pinch of salt about a quarter of a teaspoon then you need gari gari is fermented cassava this is Cameroon gari make sure you're using good quality gari anyway we have one cup of the gari you're gonna use one egg and then butter the original recipe calls for margarine but margarine is not healthy so don't use margarine if you can use butter and always get good quality butter original recipe does not have vanilla but i'm adding vanilla for flavoring i bet you can use any other flavoring that you like like maybe cinnamon or you can use lemon zest orange zest for flavoring i'm using one cup of sugar forgot to mention that you need some water half a cup of water and i'll show you what you do with the water shortly I have also made this recipe with my KitchenAid, but I wanted to try it with just manual tools in case you don't have fancy, you know, gadgets in the kitchen to help out. So we're going to go old fashioned with a bowl and a wooden spoon. And you also need something to bake your cookies on. Step number one is to moisten the gari. So you add water, you add some water and just let it absorb the water and get soft for a little bit while we cream the butter and the sugar okay so we let that sit and the sugar and we're gonna cream this Almost ready. A little bit of a workout. But you gotta work for your food. Now I'll add the egg. One egg. One teaspoon of vanilla. But again, you can use lemon zest or any other flavoring of your choice. Let's keep it all together. That's my own twist on the original recipe. Now we 
we're going to add our soft gari. If you're thinking gari in cookies, let me tell you, I made it and my kids love it. And outside of the box. Now I'm going to add our flour mixture. This is flour, baking powder, and some salt. Yes, you need salt in your cookies and cakes to bring out the flavor. So just a small pinch of salt. Our dough is ready. As you can see, it's a very soft dough. It's impossible to roll this out without it making a mess. What I discovered is this dough is perfect for making press cookies. If you have a cookie press like this, you can put it in there and then just press. Or you can do what I'm about to show you right now. What you can also do to make the dough maybe a little easy to handle is to put it in the fridge. If you have a fridge, you can put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. This is guava jam, homemade guava jam that I just used to fill the cookies just for another flavor. It's gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes.